Hi, and welcome to a guide to completing the CXC Mathematics SBA. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the presentation of data. Let us first start with a rationale. Numerical facts can be difficult to process in its raw state, especially because of the amount of data resulting from the researcher's investigation. Hence, tables, graphs, and charts are used to summarize the data. In this section, you are allocated marks according to three set criteria. The first of which is that your data must be accurate and well organized. Next, your data should include labeled diagrams. And the third and final criteria is that you should have at least one graph or chart to represent the data. Accuracy involves using the correct data value. This means that time-sensitive data must be captured at the right time. Research data must be collected under the right research condition. Data integrity will be heavily dependent on your data source. And finally, data accuracy is influenced by the completeness of your research data. Well-organized data involves giving meaning to the numbers. For example, you need to say what the numbers represent. Organization can also include the arrangement in ascending or descending numbers. For categorical data, you can place the numbers into various categories. If you are given numbers that repeat each other, then these numbers can be grouped into frequency tables. You can also organize your data in alphabetical order, or you can place them in order of importance. Finally, you can arrange your data in chronological order if these data represents dates. Diagram labeling includes the following. Diagram or chart title. This important form of labeling helps the reader to understand what the diagram is seeking to display. This is a typical example of what a diagram or chart title would look like. And here is a practical example. If your SBA involves the dimension of a basketball hoop, then the most appropriate title would look like this. Another element of diagram labeling is component labeling. Some terms which are used in your SBA may be best explained using a diagram which have various components. These components must be labeled for the reader to have a vivid understanding of the terms used. Here's an example. The third element of diagram labeling is axes labeling. Axes should be labeled to determine the variables that are quantified and graphed in your experimental data. Here's an example. Note carefully that the x-axis is labeled as time and the y-axis is labeled as speed. This helps the reader to understand or get a clearer picture of what the graph is showing and what can be interpolated or extrapolated from the graph. The fourth element of diagram labeling is figures or table labeling. Let us say these are your figures and the table. You will label these like this. And you will note carefully that labels are done in chronological order of appearance on your SBA final paper. Graphs or charts must be suitable for the target audience. It must also be suitable for the data type it represents. Keep in mind that you cannot use a data display for discrete data to represent continuous data. For example, 
data reflecting height, width, length, and the time should not be displayed using pictogram, bar graph, or pie chart. Rather, line graphs, histograms, or frequency polygons can be used. Graphs must also be suitable for the purpose of your SBA. That is, the graph chosen to display your data must aid in answering your research question. Additionally, graphs must be suitably labeled. This was already discussed. Graphs must also be suitably scaled to accommodate the data you want to display. It must also occupy the entire space of your graph sheet and be suitably color-coded, especially if more than one set of information is being displayed on one graph sheet. Looking at part B of the presentation of data, marks are allocated for the description of the solution. This involves the relationship between the research question, data, and the data display. It also involves the use of appropriate mathematical modeling. Your data presented must show a clear relationship with the research question and the data you have collected in the method of data collection section. In other words, your data display must clearly show an interconnection with the elements from the previous section of your SBA. Using appropriate mathematical modeling means that appropriate mathematical symbols or labels are used to represent the problem you are seeking to address. For example, an optimization problem may be best represented by a system of linear inequalities, that is, linear programming. Or, finding the resultant force may be best represented by drawing using triangular vectors. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's move this mathematics forward.